Miss Streamer, what is your favorite flavor of crayon? Well, lucky for you, my child. I actually have crayons in my desk. I've got indigo. I've got indigo if anybody's hungry for an indigo. I've got silver. It's got a little bit of sparkly action going on. So here, here's one of the crayons that I'm discussing right now. No color, I'm assuming it's red. Violet red. I've heard this one is pretty good as well. Um, we've got, I've got gray, gray. I've got periwinkle, that's probably the closest I can get you to blurple. The blue ones taste the best. Well, let's see. But I think, I think this carnation pink is a classic, a classic flavor. Um, I know a lot of people, I know a lot of people are a fan of this one. Now this is a personal favorite of mine, Wild Blue Yonder. It's uh, got a very nice color. It's got a very nice color, very good flavor. Yeah, it's got very, very deep, almost earthy notes to its flavor. Kind of like mushroom, um, if any of you guys have tried mushroom. Now this, this is a veteran. Um, it has been repaired as you can see from the tape in the middle. Uh, but this is a classic green. The tip is in fairly good condition. Whoops, this way. Fairly good condition, I believe. You will still be able to get a great line out of this. Um, the flavor is just that of a typical green. There's really nothing special about this one, um, but it is quite a popular flavor. This one is pink sherbet, already in the name, you can tell. This is a great flavor, great for everybody, very fruity. Um, it did come as a surprise when Crayola started marketing these as a food, but I for one support that decision. Um, it is in pretty good condition. There are a few, few little scuffs on this label here. However, the tip I would still say is maybe about a four to six. All right, so we can still get a line out of this one. You can still get some great flavors out of this. <laughs> How's the aroma? Um, uh, so unfortunately, due to my poor storage protocol for these crayons, um, oh shit, I just dropped one. Um, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of the smells and flavors have become muddled just because the crayons have been stored in close contact with each other. Um, going forward in the future, I would like to separate them by color and flavor notes. Uh, just so that we can maintain that pure waxy flavor for each of these individual crayons. This purple- oh, we'll do it like that. This purple mountain's majesty. Yo, send okay. that one to me. Sounds tasty. Very- it's, it's a very rare, very rare flavor. Not many people are able to get their hands on these in their lifetime. Me, however, I am a crayon connoisseur, so I have seen quite, quite the array of flavors here. Um... Unfortunately, this one is not in the best condition. As you can see, it has seen some use on both ends. Um, this one has become a bit rounded instead of its usual flat, flat end. And the point, we're looking at like a high two, maybe low three at very best. Unfortunately, uh, I would recommend this is not suitable, not suitable for preparation uh, in cuisine right now. <laughs> However, <clears throat> pardon me, I'm sorry. However, uh, the inside part here, uh, where the label has protected it from scuffing and contamination from other flavors, um, I believe would be suitable for consumption. However, with the rarity of this particular specimen, it would degrade the value far too much to remove the label from this one. A uh, Crayola Glitter Crayon in white this as many people are unaware <laughs> many people are unaware this is actually even though it is commonly used in dishes across the world uh this is not to be consumed alone the white crayons actually primarily serve as a thickener um for whatever dish that you're creating uh there is generally very little flavor in this think of it as something like maybe flour or cornstarch Another rare flavor, rare, rare flavor I have. This is a Disney Activities, Disney Activities yellow. Now, these have generally been deemed by the Crayon Association of America to be uh, inedible. 
these are not edible. Um, they've got far too many chemicals in them. Primarily the binding agent that holds these crayons together. <laughs> Primarily the binding agent that holds these crayons together has been linked to certain forms of cancers later in life. Um, so these are not safe to consume. I repeat, do not consume the Disney activities crayons. Now, here I've got, I've got apricot and I've got yellow orange together. Now, when you're looking at these crowns, it, now when you're looking at these crowns, it looks like, mm -hmm, that they would have a very similar flavor profile as, um, they are quite, quite similar visually. However, most people don't know, um, most people don't know that this slide, <sighs> I keep hitting my mic. <laughs> this slight difference in hue, uh, this slight difference in hue actually completely rewrites the flavor profile. While this one is a bit more salty umami, uh, this does have a light and fruity flavor. Um, a bit tart, uh, more in line with the flavors of the yellow crayons. We do have this Crayola, oops, Crayola, hot magenta. Shit. Hot magenta. Now, a lot of these, now this hot magenta, a lot of these neon colors are typically used as spice agents. They've got quite a bit of capsaicin in them. I don't know if these are officially ranked on the Scoville scale. Um, however, this hot magenta, I would say, is one of the spiciest crayons on the market right now. This is the yellow. This is one of, like, the pillars one of the foundation stones of crayon cuisine. Um, this, along with the other Roy G. Biff colors, are the most readily applied in cooking. Now this one, um, quite similar to lemons, this does have a tart, fruity flavor, um, as also slightly explained when we were looking at the apricot crayon. Uh, this is a sour, sour crayon. Um, so, as such, it is widely applied in many types of dishes, from seafood to dessert. It can really, it's really versatile. It can be used in just about any situation. Uh, as was stated before, the yellow is quite a sour... What the fuck? Supposed to be 100 rubles? Scammed. Sorry, Chris. I'm sorry. Now, a green yellow like this, many, many times you will see something with a high-grade spike like this, a high-graded pointed end. Now... This, I would give it probably a 9. I would give this probably an 8.5 to a 9. Um, you can see the original shape is pretty much intact. It's seen very little use over time. But this is actually one of the most potent, one of the most sour crayons on the market. This is one of the most sour crayons on the market, okay? Uh, and that's why you typically don't see very much use from them because not many people are able to successfully apply these um, without having the sourness overpower a dish um there are very few very few institutions that actually employ the use of this crayon um typically you you will only see this used in like michelin star restaurants it's very difficult to apply it takes a very skilled chef to use this and not have the flavor of this crayon overpower the dish i would like to give you yes here is a perfect example you s donor donor does get to choose the donor gets to choose the color of the crayon flavor flavor now, would you recommend one as an introductory crown if it's so sour? No, I absolutely- sorry, I just hit my mic. I absolutely would not recommend eating this crayon alone. Um, the flavor of this is overpowering. Uh, you will probably land yourself over the toilet as it is very sour. Um, it will upset your stomach. Uh, I can't guarantee if it would make you, you know, yak. I don't know if you can say that on Twitch. But- these are not recommended to be eaten on their own under any circumstances, okay? These are definitely not an introductory crayon. They also have been linked to health issues if you do have a sensitive stomach. I would not recommend eating these plain. Thank you, Yuri. We will go ahead and take a bite from this end just because it is quite a bit less contaminated than this end. It has been broken off in the past. Uh, I would not recommend touching the end of a crayon that has broken off uh, just because it invites infection. Um, there could be parasites in this end. So we'll go ahead and move from the safe end here. Um, 
get close to the mic. I'll go ahead and I'll turn my gain up for this as well. I'm very sorry if this is going to be loud for you guys. Uh, we have increased the gain quite a bit. So I will go ahead and... Oh. Ew. I need to spit this out, Yuri. <laughs> Yuri, I need to spit this out. No. Let me see the bite marks, and you better swallow. I didn't swallow, I'm sorry. I swallowed some of it. I swallowed some of it, but there was a lot of paper. No, I've definitely- I definitely swallowed it. I- no, I definitely swallowed it. I definitely swallowed a lot of it. You will notice when I do go over this, a lot of the wax um, has been consumed. Uh, it's just, it is just the label primarily that has not been consumed. So I would say, I would say probably about 50% of that, um, that wax went uh, down my gullet. I swallowed it. Uh, there's wax in my Rate teeth. Taste out of 10. Um, so out of 10. So this was desert sands now. This is, like I said, this is an orange, so the taste was actually, I'm glad I could tell you guys, the taste was pretty nutty. Um, as you can see, here's, here's the damage. Here's the damage we did to that crayon. It was pretty nutty. It was overall a mild crayon just because if we look at it, I'll go ahead and give you a little shriek of this with the broken end. Show you guys there. Squiddy less than, full of crayons. You can see what I did right here. You can barely see it actually, but this right here is going to be the desert sand. Um, it is a very, very mild crayon, a bit nutty. Um, overall, there's not really, there's not really too much to rave about for this flavor. Um, <clears throat> I don't feel good. Now this crayon, it's just very mild. There's, there just isn't too much to say about it. It's not really used uh, exceptionally frequently. Um, it's got a very little flavor profile. Um, typically, it's mostly applied in like okay, sauces. so it's a nutty one. How smooth was it on the way down? Um, not very. It's in my teeth. However, I'll go ahead. I will put this back. And okay, I definitely just swallowed more wax. <clears throat> However, um, we've already spoken. I hope, I hope this is, um, oh, we do have one that fell. What is this? Laser lemon. This is going to be one of the spicy ones. I don't know if we've gone over it. Um, but just, just to humor you guys, I will give you a little swatch of this one. Um, as you can see, it comes out much like a highlighter right here above this blue right under the outer space. Um, it is a very unique crayon in that it is sour and spicy. Um, which lends itself primarily to more Asian dishes. Uh, it's not really seen very much in Western kitchens, uh, as far as its unique profile. So I think this is actually a great crayon to end the review on, uh, just because there are just so many incredible facets of something like this. I know a lot of the Crayola crayons are very, very, very interesting, and it's an amazing experience to learn about them. Uh, but we just don't have the time. We don't have the time to go over every Crayola crayon. I would love to be sponsored and get to review these on stream, but there's just too many. There's just too many to get through in one sitting. I hope you guys can understand that. Please euthanize this weird fucking creature. Yeah. Yeah.